फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट gentleman exactly a century ago the indian tea association was set up an event of great significance in the history of the indian tea industry the association came into existence almost casually when a number of tea producers in india voluntarily got together to promote the export of indian tea today as we celebrate the centenary of the indian tea association it will be fitting to look back to the role that it has played to guide the fortunes of the indian tea industry through good years and bad and to help it grow into the largest producer and exporter of tea in the world the association as the premier coordinating body of the tea industry has from the beginning played a most significant role the association formulated certain policies and actions to help the development and to ensure the growth of the indian tea industry uniform regulation of matters pertaining to labor such as wages bonuses housing and workers welfare representation of the interests of the tea industry to the government negotiations with labor unions promotion of exports of indian tea and research and development have been some of the outstanding achievements of the association it would be of interest at this point to take a brief look at the organizational structure of the indian tea association the general committee which guides the activities of the association is composed entirely of representatives of the member companies owning tea gardens it consists of 16 members including a chairman and a vice chairman the members of the general committee are drafted to serve on subcommittees dealing with specialized matters such as technical and scientific affairs supplies and warehousing finance and taxation transport and communication etc apart from the general committee and the subcommittees in calcutta there are branches of the indian tea association in the different tea growing areas of northeast india the vast scale of voluntary work done by the branch committees can be realized when it is remembered that they are entrusted with the task of procuring food grains for nearly a million workers and their families and looking after their general welfare the association and the branches are also concerned with the task of arranging supplies of all essential articles such as coal fuel oils fertilizers etc it is necessary to mention the indian tea association's unique and pioneering contributions in the field of labor relations and workers welfare right from its early days the scarcity of labor has been a problem to the indian tea industry over a period of many decades the industry under the guidance of the association has been able to build up a vast force of nearly a million committed workers both men and women the largest of any industry in india these workers are drawn mainly from the weaker sections of the society the fact that the tea industry has been able to win their trust and loyalty and weld them into one community with its distinctive tea culture is because of the enlightened and human policies that the association has formulated over the years and had persuaded all member tea gardens to follow apart from job security and good working conditions the tea industry introduced such welfare measures as good housing educational and medical facilities and other amenities decades before they were statutorily imposed by the government during the second world war and more particularly since the independence of the country labor problems acquired great importance the association was quick in realizing this matter and it went forward recruiting highly qualified labor advisors apart from advising and helping to settle labor disputes the labor advisers constantly seek to maintain industrial peace in the industry in the field of research and development the association has made most significant contributions the research station set up by the association has today grown into the largest and the most eminent tea research institution in the world in the field of tea exports the association was able to gradually break the Chinese hold on the British tea market and to make India the greatest tea exporting country in the world in the face of keen competition from other tea producing countries over the years the Indian Tea Association has been of the greatest service 
not only to its members and the tea industry in general, but also to the government and labor and the public. Finally, the success of the Indian Tea Association has been largely due to the cooperation extended by the members. This discipline among the members of the association derives not from any fear of sanctions, but from the trust that a century of service has built up. Tea is among the top five foreign exchange earners today and its contribution to the country's foreign exchange income will not only continue to be substantial but steady. It contributed around rupees 500 crores to the state executor during 1983 and will continue to contribute more in proportion to the increase in output and consumption. Recently, the pressure on the domestic tea prices has been the greatest. Even the price of the commonest variety has risen by at least 40 percent. The government's reactions, mostly verbal, have done nothing to restrain the rise. The decision to apply the provisions of the Essential Commodities Act to tea traders to oblige them to register themselves with appropriate authorities and declare their stocks regularly came a bit too late. The tea industry, it is widely felt, has shown little moral obligation to the consumer. In a more or less similar situation six years ago, the Janata government imposed a stiff 5% export duty to discourage too much outflow of the commodity and at the same time stabilized the domestic price at a fairly reasonable level. The present government has not thought of such an exercise probably because of tea output during the current year is expected to be a surplus. As the association completes its first century of existence, there are many challenges to face and tasks to perform by the Indian tea industry. But with the goodwill and understanding of the government, trade unions, workers, media and the public, the association and the tea industry look forward to meet these challenges and to serving the country well in the decades ahead.